What's up everyone, I'm Ray Luzier and this is the new Apex. HeadPod 4 is Apex's newly designed 4-channel high-output headphone amplifier with multiple inputs. The original HeadPod was an instant worldwide success as the high-output headphone amp when it was first introduced. Apex's new HeadPod 4 offers new features that customers requested, improved performance, and a new high-tech appearance that is consistent with the new line of Apex products. Apex emphasizes the importance of using quality headphones that provide full bandwidth and dynamic range, worthy of recording engineers and musicians like myself. Of course, the best headphones in the world are only as good as the headphone amplifier you connect them to. Apex's new HeadPod 4 headphone amp was designed to provide the best possible monitoring experience with all headphones regardless of their impedance value. When you can comfortably hear all the nuances and detail of your program, you can create and perform better. When singers can't hear and feel the music in their headphones properly, with all the musical impact that a live performance can offer, they may experience pitch or phrasing problems. HeadPod 4 offers singers the best opportunity to hear their performance with powerful musical impact, so that there are more good tracks, better sessions, and better performances. Many headphone amps that are built into mixers and audio interfaces simply do not provide enough power for headphones. The sound quality is also compromised, and when the volume is turned up, the sound may get louder, but it will also get more distorted. Less clarity and distortion causes listening fatigue. With a high-performance headphone amp like the HeadPod 4, users get crystal clear, realistic detail at any volume, and with less chance of experiencing listening fatigue. The HeadPod 4 is precise, clear, and can reach much louder levels without any distortion detected when used with quality headphones. One of the most unique and terrific things about the Apex HeadPod 4 compared to other headphone amps on the market is that it contains four individual amplifiers. One amplifier for each headphone output. In headphone amps where only one amplifier is used for all the headphone outputs, the volume lowers and the noise increases every time another set of headphones is plugged in. Not so with HeadPod 4. This is never an issue. Using four independent amplifiers allows each person to use their favorite headphones, regardless of the ohm rating, as it will have no effect on the other user's headphones. The HeadPod 4 will work properly with headphones from 8 ohms to 1000 ohms. At 8 ohms, the HeadPod 4 delivers 3 watts. At 1000 ohms, it delivers 100 milliwatts. Here's a list of some common headphones and their ohm ratings, some of which I use. Lower is better. As you can see, lower impedance values provide the most power. They also provide the best signal to noise ratio. Apex's advice is to use headphones with lower ohm ratings. Lower is better. The HeadPod 4 features three selectable inputs. SpeedIF digital input. Normally, this would be connected to the SpeedIF digital output of your audio interface. The digital to analog converter in the HeadPod 4 is of much higher quality than those used in audio interfaces. By assigning the headphone mix to a SpeedIF output of your audio interface and connecting it to the HeadPod 4, you'll achieve the best sounding headphone signal possible. Balanced stereo inputs on TRS jacks. Normally, these would be connected to the main outputs of a mixer or audio interface. You may also send a mono balance signal into the left balance input, and that mono signal will be in both sides of your headphones. There's also an unbalanced stereo input on a single quarter inch TRS connection. Just connect one TRS cable from the headphone output of your audio interface to this input and you're ready to go. Input selector. You can leave all the input sources connected to the HeadPod 4 and simply choose the one you want to listen to with the input selector dial. Master volume. The master volume control is actually the input sensitivity level to the HeadPod 4. Start with the master volume control set straight up the middle at noon. This will provide a unity gain input signal. You can certainly turn the master input level up higher should you need to match a low input signal, but always listen carefully for distortion. Should you hear distortion, slowly rotate the master volume counterclockwise until you only hear a clear, undistorted signal. Each headphone output has its own volume knob. Always begin with that volume knob all the way down before you connect your headphones. Applications. From the recording studio to the stage, from broadcasting to the classroom, 
the HeadPod 4 will provide the best headphone monitoring solution available. Even if you only need to use one set of headphones, the improvement in detail, clarity, dynamic range, sound quality, and an abundant amount of headroom will allow you to hear properly and monitor your source more precisely. More and more musicians, like myself, performing in live venues are using backing tracks requiring drummers to play with click tracks. The HeadPod 4's power will provide a click track that is loud and clear, allowing the drummer to lock into the beat and stay with it much more easily. In today's music education classes, multiple students are usually required to share a workstation. Having been an educator in these environments, I can tell you that it helps. The HeadPod 4 is a perfect solution to provide the group a high quality listening experience with its unique separate floor amplifiers, one for each student. And the HeadPod 4 is powerful enough to provide signal levels above the classroom noise. So there you have it. We hope you enjoyed all the information you just learned on the training video. For more information, check out Apex.com.